what's up you guys welcome back to another video in today's video I wanted to give you guys a full list of modifications that I have on the car these are modifications that you can do it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or more advanced I'm gonna tell you guys what I did when I was in like the beginning stages of modding my car I'm gonna be giving you guys like some tips on some mods that you could do when you're more advanced but yeah if you guys are wondering why I'm just walking around aimlessly in my house it's because a broker is coming soon to check out the place and I thought I'd get the intro out of the way. So once the broker comes and checks the place out and leaves, I'll give you guys a full update on the car. All right guys, so the broker just left. So time for the mods. All right guys, surprise, surprise, it's raining. And yeah, so let's start off with the more beginner mods. I guess a more beginner mod would be something aesthetic. And if you guys don't know what aesthetic means, it means it's just for looks. One of those would be to get paddle shifter extensions. I personally got these because I like the look of them and because I have red stitching throughout the entirety of my car, so I feel like it matches. If you guys want these, make sure to hit me up on Instagram, right over here and in the link below. I have these aluminum ones. I've had these on my car for like two years now and nothing is wrong with them. There's these little screws, you just like screw it into your paddles. It doesn't do any kind of damage to your stock paddles. You can just take them off if you really wanted to. But yeah, we have these aluminum ones and carbon fiber ones. If you guys want some, hit me up on Instagram and I'll give you guys the link so that way you can purchase them. So other beginner mods, um, I got this carbon fiber front splitter from Future Design USA. They don't make them anymore, but I'm pretty sure you can get them from Mode Carbon or from eBay for a few hundred bucks. I got this one for I think $400. Um, it adds a nice touch, more aggressive. And then the next thing that I did was I bought carbon fiber wrap and I wrapped my Mercedes-Benz logo and it came out really good. It took me a couple hours and I'm pretty happy with it. It hasn't like peeled off or anything at all. The price of the carbon fiber wrap, it depends on how big of a roll you get. So I don't remember how much it was, but you can find it on Amazon. You can wrap this. And then I got the Pan Americana grill also from Future Design. This was about like $350, I think, in piano black. Um, and again, I don't know if Future Design makes this stuff anymore. You can contact them or find them online. And then next, we got the Edition One Stripe across the hood and across the side and on the trunk back there. You can get this done for a couple hundred bucks from any vinyl wrap shop. The Edition One Stripe was literally the first mod I ever did to this car. Just know it, you're gonna be paying around like 200, $300 range tops. And then in my most recent video, I stated that I got spacers on the car and it pushes out your wheel just a little bit more and it looks really good in my opinion. And that was about, I, I think, Tops. It was $300 for the H&R wheel spacers. And then over here we have the yellow calipers and the pinstriping around the rim, like around like the silver trim on the rim. That sounds weird. But yeah, for the calipers and for the pinstriping around the rim, for all of them, I, it was 280 bucks I think, and it came out pretty well. So try to aim for that price, if not cheaper. Window tint, um, this is 25%. It helps protect your interior from heat and it gives me privacy. And over here, like what I did with my Mercedes logo, I wrapped in carbon fiber in my garage, saved a few hundred bucks, and it came out pretty good. And then over here, a carbon fiber spoiler. Well, I think I paid $400 for this, but it varies by company. Um, you can find it on eBay for much cheaper. And I know eBay has some pretty good stuff too, so. And then over here, we have the taillights. I actually smoked them in my garage. I forgot how much I paid, but I know it depends on how big of a roll you get. And all I know is that it wasn't that expensive and I did this in my garage. It took me about half an hour to do each tail light and it came out pretty damn good. And over here, I think this is the most expensive aesthetic mod that I did the car. And that was the diffuser. I think it was like $900 or something, but it's very aggressive. It looks really good and it's high quality. And then over here, I paid like 30 bucks for these vent flicks. They don't fit perfectly, um, but they fit like 95%. I'm fine with that, it looks pretty good still. I think I bought these on either Amazon or AliExpress. I'm not too sure, I don't remember that well because it was just from such a long time ago. And then over here, we have the C63 style exhaust tips, AKA the diamond tips. 
And no, I'm not trying to copy a C63. I'm just trying to match the exhaust button inside my car. If I really wanted to copy a C63, I would take out this four, I would put a six, and then I would buy a wide body kit to make these fenders a little bit wider. And then I would mess around with the front vents and get a different hood. There's a bunch of subtle changes between a C43 and a C63. If I was really trying to copy one, I would go to the ends of the earth to copy one. Or, you know, I would just give up all wheel drive and buy one. For the more advanced mods, I think that's when you get into like tuning and stage two, stage three, stuff like that, and blow off valves, stuff like that. For more like advanced mods, you can get blow off valves like I did, you can get a tune, you can get uh, upgraded exhaust or callus downpipes, and you can get upgraded turbos. And let me just come inside because I'm getting cold and wet. So for more advanced mods, that's when you get into like upgraded turbos and different exhaust, maybe callus downpipes. Like a pretty advanced mod you could do is to go stage three. If you guys don't know what stage three is, that means getting a tune, getting callus downpipes or an exhaust upgrade, and getting upgraded turbos. For the C43 specifically, I know Weiss Tech sells upgraded turbos for $3,000. Not cheap, but you get an extra 220 horsepower. Imagine getting a tune, upgraded turbos, and callus downpipes or an exhaust upgrade. You would be pushing like 700 horsepower in this car. Dude, I can't imagine having 700 horsepower in a V6. And the thing is, I don't know how reliable it is, so I'm not recommending it but definitely get a tune. These engines are amazing. The Eurocharged tune got me up to 460 horsepower and that's just with the tune. I don't have an upgraded exhaust. I have the AMG Performance exhaust from factory, but I don't have Catalyst downpipes. I don't have Army Tricks exhaust or a Kropovich or anything. And I don't have upgraded turbos. I think that's it. If I forgot anything, I'll leave it in the description. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like button and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Right over here and in the link below. See ya. Oh, my God.